Hello my students, tomorrow inshallah will be your final exam. So my advice to you is to be calm in the exam, don't be stressed, uh, read the question carefully and try to solve with steps, okay? Don't forget the steps are very important, okay? <clears throat> Here our revision contains uh, choose questions okay but in the exam of course you have a variety of questions complete choose and essay questions okay you are not allowed to write more than one answer in the choose or the complete okay so be sure from your answer before writing it okay let's start with the first question if phi is an empty set then probability of phi equals yes it's zero okay the next one if s which is sample space of a random experiment then probability of s equals the number of the set over the number of sample space it means one okay the third one if a die is tossed once then probability of getting an even number equals you have to see uh, to see the even numbers which is two four and six three over the total six so it's half or 0 0.5 the next one x minus one equals negative 2 so x here equals first of all you have to solve it by removing negative 1 we have to add 1 for both sides so I add 1 here also so here it will be x equals negative 2 plus 1 equals negative 1 so you have to choose negative 1 okay the next one x minus 2 is greater than 3 so x here equals so you have to solve it x minus 2 to remove minus 2 we have to add 2 for both sides don't forget so the remainder here will be x is greater than 5 so what's here greater than 5 it's 6 okay the next 2x plus 1 is smaller than or equal negative 1 again we have to remove plus 1 by subtracting 1 for both sides here it will be 2x is smaller than or equal negative 1 minus 1 negative 2 the second step to remove 2 here is multiplication so I remove it by division divided by 2 for both sides here it will be x is smaller than or equal huh? negative 2 divided by 2 yes it equals negative 1 so here what is the number here smaller than or equal negative 1 it's negative 1 the next the equation of x power 3 minus 4 x power 2 equals 0 is an equation of which degree we choose the greatest one so it will be the third degree okay the next here we have two belong to the solution set of the inequality where x belong to z 
Okay, here we will see the inequalities and see which one satisfy the two belong to it. X is greater than two, so it doesn't have two, so we will cancel this one. The next, X is smaller than two, it also doesn't have two, so I'll cancel it. The next one, negative X is greater than negative three. I want to show this to you to revise it. Okay, here, negative, x is greater than sorry okay negative x is greater than negative 3 okay we said before i need x only without the negative sign so to remove this one it means it's negative 1x right so, I divided it by negative 1. You have to write divided negative 1 for both sides, okay? So, here it will be x and here negative 3 divided negative 1 also, it will be 3. But what about the sign? Remember with me, when we multiply or divide it by a negative number, we have to change the direction of the sign. So it will be x is smaller than 3. Okay, so here, x smaller than 3, that means x equals what? Yes, equals 2, 1, 0 and so on so we have here 2 so this inequality satisfy the required okay the next the lateral area of the cube equal the area of one face times of course times 4 or choose a 4 okay and what is what about the total times 6 okay the next, if the perimeter of one face of a cube equal four centimeter, be careful. Here, he is talking about the perimeter, the perimeter. When he gives me the perimeter, I have to get the side lens, the side lens to get the area and the total or lateral area, okay? So here, it's a cube and it's a perimeter of one face equals four centimeter. So the side lens equal, yes, one centimeter. Okay, I have here the side lens one centimeter. So to get the total area, I have first to calculate the area of one face, which is one times itself equals one squared centimeter. Then multiply it by six to get the total area, so it will give you Okay, the next. The area of base of a cube is 49 squared centimeter. Then its lateral area equals how many squared centimeter? Okay, I have here the area of one base, or of the base. So to get the lateral, I have to multiply by, yes, by four. So it will give me 100. 96 squared centimeter. Okay, the next question. A cube without a lid of age length 3 centimeter, then its total area equals. Okay. Here I have the age length 3 centimeter. We say we want if we want to calculate the total area i have to calculate the area of one base right which is three times three equals nine okay this time square centimeter and the unit is very important don't forget to write it okay okay uh, then the total area equals Yes, the, er the area of the base times or the area of one face times six. 
Okay, but take care. Here, he said without lid. Without lid, it means you will, you have six faces. You will remove one of them. So we have only five faces. So nine times five equal, yes, 45 squared centimeter. The next one. The height of the cuboid whose lateral area is 120 square centimeter and the dimensions of its base are 6 centimeter and 4 centimeter. Okay. Here he asked about what the height and give me the lateral area. And the dimensions, okay? The dimensions, length and width. Before before doing anything okay remember the rule and write it remember the rule and write it okay the lateral area equal what the perimeter of the base times the height okay so what about the height we had it before the height equals we can uh, conclude this uh, this rule from the original rule. So the height equals the lateral area over what? That's right, the perimeter of base. Okay, then substitute it. I prefer to write the steps under each other, but here, because I don't have enough space. So here, the lateral area is 120. What about the perimeter? Yes, it's length plus width times 2. Don't forget this rule. 6 plus 4, 10 times 2 equals 20. So 12 divided 2 equals 6 centimeters. So the height is 6 centimeters. The next one. The measure of the central angle of the circular sector whose area represents 1 over 8 from the area of the circle. Okay, first of all, what is the uh, angles, is the accumulative angles of the circle equals? Yes, 360. So, to get the area of 1 over 8 of it, okay, so we will multiply 360 times 1 over 8 or 360 divided 8 it's the same so it will give you 45 degrees 45 degrees okay uh, which of the following which of the following can be a probability of an event so here we have zero percentage, uh, uh, sorry, zero percent, okay, 1.2, 17 over 16, and 101 percent, okay. First of all, let's remember what is the probability. What is the probability? The probability is greater than or equal zero and smaller than or equals one so it's from zero and one so here 1.2 is greater than one can't be 17 over 16 the same greater than one 101 percent so the only one can be written here is zero percent okay the next one if a equals sample space then the probability of a okay is the same as sample space so it will give me one okay the next one n union negative z okay so n and union z okay with what is the set which includes n and negative z of course it's a z okay the next one 
the smallest positive integer is think a little bit before answer this question because most of you confuse and say it's zero no I'm talking about positive integer so it is one if we say what is the smallest integer it will be zero what is the smallest positive integer it will be one what is the smallest non-positive integer it will be zero okay so read the question carefully the next one here five power zero plus negative five power zero we had before any number powered by zero equals one so i have here one plus here it's also one why it is not negative one because here the power is even and we said before the even power okay remove the negative or change it to positive okay so here it will be one so the answer is two can i say negative five power zero equals negative one yes in one condition if it is written by this way in this case we can say this equals one and we will put the negative sign here because the negative sign is outside the bracket so it is not under the power okay the next the absolute value of negative five plus what give me zero okay absolute value of negative five equals five so five plus what give me zero the number plus its inverse equals zero so we have to get the inverse of five so it will be negative five what about if it is the opposite it's negative five plus what give me zero so you will get the uh, the inverse of the number so it will be five okay the next one z intersect n equals okay okay i want to show you something here in order not to confuse from both signs here the intersection when i have intersection between two um uh, two uh, sets okay i choose the smallest one which one here is the smallest the integer the z or the natural the n which one of course it's n because it's subset of z so here i write n okay the onion i choose the greatest one which include the uh, the other set so which one is the greatest of course the opposite here z okay so here we choose the end what is the number of axes of symmetry of the isosceles triangle yes excellent it's one that what about the number of axes of symmetry of the equilateral triangle the equilateral triangle equal three okay what about the square yes equals four line of symmetry the rectangle is just two uh, lines okay okay the image of the point negative two and three by translation three units in the negative direction okay 
I remind you of the rules. The point plus translation equals image the point if you ask about the image itself okay right here okay right here the image minus the point Okay, give you the translation. Translation. If I want the point itself, so the image minus the translation give you the point. take care by this uh, rules because it will be change the sign okay take care here I want the image of the point by translation ne uh, sorry three units in the negative direction it means negative three okay of the y-axis as he didn't mention the x-axis, so it will be the same. Negative 2 here will be the same. Okay? What about the y? He said 3 units in the negative direction. It means negative 3. Okay? So here, 3 minus negative 3 or 3 plus negative 3, as we said here, point plus a translate, uh, translation okay so it's three plus negative three it will be zero okay this one let's see the other one <coughs> copy these rules okay to study them the image of the point what by translation x minus 3 and y plus 4 is negative 5 and negative 3 so here he asked about the point he wants the point here if I want the point so the image minus translation what is the image here is negative 3 and negative uh, sorry negative 5 and negative 3 and this is the translation okay negative 5 minus negative 3 it means negative 5 plus 3 equals negative 2 then negative 3 minus 4 equals uh, oh, sorry, negative 3 minus 4 equal negative 7. Okay. The next one, the image of the point, the image of the point 1 and negative 3 by translation. Here, he needs the translation. Okay. So I make the same image minus the point. Okay, the image here minus the point. Okay, here this is a point and this is the image. So 1 minus 1 equals 0. And 0 minus negative 3 means 0 plus 3 equals 3. So it's this one. Okay. The next one. The surface area of a circle with diameter 8 cm equals what? By squared centimeter. Let's remember the rule itself. The surface area, the rule of the area equals by r squared. Right? Here, he give me the by or it is written 
Okay, so here I want the square of the radius. I can get the radius from the diameter, it equals 4. So the square of 4 equals 16. Okay? The next one the area of the circle whose circumference is 20 by the area of the circle whose circumference is 20 by centimeter equals what okay the area equals by r squared and the circumference equals This is the area, and this is the circumference, 2 by r. Okay, the circumference here equals 20 by, it means the 2 radius, okay, equals 20. So the radius is, the radius here is half the 20, so it equals okay so here the radius he need here the area of this circle the area here I substitute the radius by 10 here so it will be 10 power 2 it will be 100 times by Okay, do you understand? I hope so. The last one, the last one here, the circumference of the circle whose area 49 by equals what? I need here the circumference. Okay, I have the area which is 49. I write the rule first. The area here is 49 by, this by cancelled with this, so 49 is square of the radius. What the number or what is the square root of 49? It's 7. So the radius here is 7. Okay, I write the rule of the circumference which is 2 by r then substitute it by the radius which is 2 by times 7 <clears throat> okay so 2 times 7 equals 14 14 times twenty two over seven okay two two times twenty two so it will be forty four okay you can do it on your calculator okay uh, I try to give you some different questions uh, but uh, please study hard uh, solve many exams uh, you can watch all the the lessons explained on the YouTube channel uh, so uh, I wish you a good luck in the exam. Thank you. Goodbye.